Good day everyone, this is Mr. Arias and I teach science at the Ateneo de Manila Junior High School. Now last time, I posted a video that details how to use OBS in your own online PowerPoint lectures. And I think it was very well received. A lot of teachers gave very positive feedback on how to further improve their usage of OBS and I'm very thankful for that. But there were also some teachers who indicated that they may not actually have a reliable computer or laptop at home. And this begs the question, if you do not have a computer or laptop, will you still be able to cope in this day and age where online classes will be the main thing? Well, actually, you might have one of these in your home and that is the smartphone. And if you think about it, the smartphone has more than enough of the tools that you need for an online lecture. It has two cameras, front and back. It can also run PowerPoints, it can run Word files, it can run Excel sheets, it can even have Zoom conferences. So for today, I will show you two ways by which I use a smartphone in order to record my own online lectures for class. Here's how. Okay, so this is my first setup. It is very simple in that it basically just uses your phone's camera in order to record something that is happening on the table. So my inspiration for this would be Patrick JMT. Patrick JMT is a math YouTuber who uploads videos showing mathematical solutions. And this kind of setup is very beneficial for problem solving. Because aside from the fact that you can show clear and organized solutions, it allows you, I think, to show certain skills that the computer cannot. So number one would be how to budget your space within a paper when solving problems. And the other thing would be I could show them calculator techniques by just putting my calculator below the phone and just showing them, for example, interpolation, where to find certain buttons. I think it's very useful for that purpose. And also, I found this useful during one physics topic. We had this topic in physics of scalar and vector quantities wherein we had to ask them to draw vector arrows. This one required us to use rulers, it required us to use protractors and triangles. I just had to use my hands and I could demonstrate with my hands how exactly to draw. So this allows you to do certain things that the computer cannot, especially ones that involve your hands. Okay, so for this setup, it's very simple to make. All you need is a smartphone. And as you could see, you don't even need a tripod. In this case, I'm just using a stack of books, which I angled in this way such that the camera side of the phone could be put on the edge. So when you do this kind of setup, you can avoid the uh, books and you can just focus simply on the paper in front of you. Obviously, you could just speak to the phone while you're recording the video. However, I find it useful to still use a simple earphone just to make sure that the sound quality is much better. Finally, when you're doing this, always remember to use a marker so that it's much easier for the students to see your solutions. Okay, so that was a very simple setup really simple to assemble and it just basically uses uh, simple things that you can find around the house but if you want a more technical setup wherein you're recording a powerpoint slide and putting your face on it then that will be the focus of the next part of this video so this next idea will turn your phone into something that has an obs with screen recording remember your smartphone can actually run powerpoints all you need to do is to download a screen recording app record your screen and then you can have a video that you can post on youtube so for this all you need is your phone a way to put your phone up such that it has a good angle in your face and earphones to improve the sound quality now there are so many screen recording apps that are available but this one that i'm thinking about actually puts your face into the powerpoint so when you press the screen recording button in this app as you could see you could have that similar setup wherein you can run a powerpoint using the powerpoint app in your phone or google slides and you could put a built-in webcam footage on the bottom screen so once you finish the recording of your powerpoint you could actually find this into your gallery and then use video editing software or upload direct to YouTube and you have something that basically simulates what you would get in a computer. So even if you have limited resources at home and you don't have laptops, you can actually record using your simple smartphones alone. Okay, so those are just some of the ways by which you can convert a simple smartphone into a very powerful online learning tool. Now, if you need specific tutorials by which I could explain further how you could use the apps, in order to make your own online lectures, please let me know in the comments below so that I may work on these tutorials. With that, I wish you luck with your own online classrooms. Happy teaching!